Yo, what is everybody? Good night. Happy Saturday night. We are here for the devil in me. Yes, we're here to play the devil in me. Um, we wanted to play it when it came out, but it was there were some issues with the game's release. Like, I guess they couldn't. For some reason, the patch didn't launch with the game. But apparently, the patch has been released. Everything should be all good. We should have a good time playing this. And also, thank you to Supermassive Games for hooking us up with a copy so we could play it for you guys. Looking forward to it. We've played all the other ones on stream. Man of Badan, Little Hope, um, House of Ashes, which was like at the beginning of the year. And then now we have The Devil in Me. So this is Thanks supposed to be the, the season subs, finale. King Leo. So, okay. Um, I don't know what we have to look forward to, uh, but we're going to jump in. But before I do that... I'm going to fix my soundboard so oh, I don't you see the stress on my Now they can hear you. Oh, they can hear me now. Yeah, cuz I had to plug it out and plug it back oh, in. Oh. Yeah, um I was saying that you saw the stress on my face because I was randomly hearing the the freaking chipmunk behind his voice randomly again. So, so yeah. Before I get into this, I want to know. In this, does it did it carry over like from the quarry where the quick time events can be done with the D pad, or is that a no? Thank does anybody know so. that? Uh, Wait, go down up because I just asked the question. I know. Thanks for the sub, Nikki Sunshine. I was just trying to get to it before it. No, it so down. you cannot do quick time events with the D pad. It has to be with the analog. Okay. Yep. That's all I need to know. Okay. Let us go ahead. We're going to jump in, grab your snacks, your popcorn, whatever you need. It's about to be a movie. All right. Yes, we did that on stream. Um, Ikonono. What? Until Dawn. Yeah, there's a whole Until Dawn um, series in the gaming playlist. You can, or you can just type in your Boroshi Until Dawn and it'll pop up. All right, you ready? I am. Okay. What if I don't want to accept? Okay. <laughs> when cool. you said grab whatever you need, Free said grab whatever I need. Turn around, Roshi. I need the meams. <laughs> of course he did. Let's see what the settings is looking like before we jump in here. Like the brightness and all that. Oh, well, that that just popped up on the screen. Thanks for the support, Naruto. I don't know why subtitles is defaulted to off, but okay. I guess they assume most people don't want them. All right, graphics. Oh what? I could I could do a performance mode. Let's see what the performance mode is looking like. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs, East Bay Nick. Thank you. Thank you for the Dono McSeason. Today is Friday, good sir, not Saturday. Oh, did I say Saturday? I did say Saturday, didn't I? It does feel like a Saturday though. Yeah. But y'all know what I meant. Okay, don't play alone. All right, sure. You ready? Nope. So obviously this is a decision-based game. It's a story. We won't be able to interact with the chat as much as normal. So right. just be wary. Player one. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna put it on challenging for Shira. I'm going to put it on lethal. So challenging for me and then absolutely lethal for Shira. <laughs> they said, sir. <laughs> <laughs> they said, oh, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, though, I'll put it on forgiving for you and challenging for me. Or how about lethal for you? Why the hell would I do that? <laughs> Ma'am? Edit the screen name for. Yeah. 
<laughs> Frank said, don't do me like that. Don't do what? <laughs> Hope you're lethal. Lethal. Yeah? It's going to be the yam god. It doesn't matter what he puts me on. I'm going to kill everybody. So I just hope you guys why? know that ahead of time. But why? Because I always mess up quick times. You know this. I know this. Everybody knows this. Even so on... You can put me on lethal. You can put me on challenging. You can put me on forgiving. It really doesn't matter. I'm like 100% sure I'm still going to do terrible. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure it's setting y'all up. But see, at least if I'm on lethal fail. or challenging, then I have an excuse. Like... Now, if I'm on forgiving, they're like, oh, but it was on forgiving. Okay. And then I'm going to be like, see, I still sucked. All right. It's just me. Ready. I have no faith. Zero faith. So are we going to auto assign the characters? It should evenly. Is the auto assign trash? <laughs> yes. Headphone warning. Okay. All right, sure. The game, screeching. the game is going to auto assign characters for us. Okay. It's gonna give you like four people and me like one person. Yeah, I'm God. Your turn. Why All did right. you? Why did you make that your name? You wasn't even paying attention. I did. It doesn't even matter. I thought you erased it. Thanks for the All sub. Right. Um, runny whistle. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the blah 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 blah. blah. Attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. What year is it? Like oh, eighteen ninety-three. You the most. You please me the uh, most. I was say like nineteen twenty. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. Cap. <laughs> Snake oil ointment. I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised, very nice. No, it's not. For that time period, that's hella nice. What are you talking about? You forgot that's it's 1893? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I did forget actually for just like a brief moment. You right. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. My mind was more so thinking like this time period walking I in know. there. I would run very far in the other direction. Try again. See, it's already time to go. Wow. Well. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Uh, let's see. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Mm. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. Let's get us bodied. The cheese. My Whoa. sincere oh. apologies. Oh, it's Campbell. For both startling you and for Good evening, Mr. Wait. Shelby. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Could have, it could have been worse. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Could have been a dude from Deadly Night. Are you here to have Please. sex? Stop. Sign in here. First time in Chicago. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. 
The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh. Oh. A honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> the expressions. Perhaps my <laughs> wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <laughs> yes. Today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. Mm. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> it's on the house. Yep. I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. Okay. The upgrade That's already is on suspicious. Us. He's like, you're going to get murdered Nor in there anyways. <laughs> honeymooners. How kind. Just remember the first Thank people they you, show Mr. are always either yeah, the Holmes yeah. or they come back later. Henry Howard Holmes. Oh, Sherlock. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. It was H -H -H. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. Mm. I'm a man of many I left. interests. Like right then, doctor? The triple or H. <laughs> you Please to... <laughs> have a look around. We have these and gifts at the pharmacy counter. <laughs> what am I about to write here and pedigree to shit out of him in the room fucking room hotel room? Everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. So I think. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Isn't this based on a real serial killer? I think H.H. H. Holmes is a is a real uh, serial killer. Because sure, you know what I was gonna bring up to you. Didn't they? Um. Oh my God. There was a season of American Horror Story where some there was something like this. It was a season with Lady Gaga. Wasn't there like a yes a hotel yes, architect hotel. dude? Mm -hmm. But okay. Now, what did I forget to bring? They say yes, he's a real killer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was American Horror Story Hotel. But then, like halfway through the season, like for one, it was like weird dominatrix like and yeah. vampires, and then like you find out there was an older part of the hotel or something like that. Like hidden, yes. I think I don't. Uh, my memory is kind of hazy on that. Thank you for joining Z4 Castle. Change selection. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny. All right, here it is. Up, oh, I just caused us death. Probably. But I think all of oh. these. Yeah, it's gonna lead to the death no matter what. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Mm. Ma'am? Like They're like all the same ring. Ma'am, I just gave you a ring. Okay. I'm sure she's great at wiggling that ass, right? Oh my gosh. Thank you for the donor questicles. Roche. Please shake the hand for you so you can Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Did you just kick that shit open? Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? Somebody. <gasps> Don't move. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. But PTSD. sure, it's gonna be easy for you though. Freaking PTSD, man. I'm still so mad about that till this day. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. <laughs> you think this is a game, bitch? Let's go. Yeah. You don't know who you married? I'm about to come around the corner with you. You don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, I said you, she was holding in that floor. You and your wife are dead. <laughs> oh. Do you, you just appear? That was odd. It was odd. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do hey, enjoy the? your stay. <laughs> what the if hell was that? You have work to return to. Thanks for the dono, semi thunder. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Mm. Bro, is my man on drugs? So ominous. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, oh this you. Way a bit. There you go. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! Yes, we had a good Thanksgiving, thank you. You asked for it. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't let you. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> I'm gonna land on you. Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything they broken? They were getting the dual pulse Only my Patreon. pride. Yes, once I'm done here. How about a peace offering? Yes, dual hmm. pulse tonight. This Stop feels stream. like some sort of treacherous plot. Thanks for the dono, Allison. Not at all. <laughs> I have a gift for you. An awesome thank you. We enjoyed watching it. And thank you. It was a nice walk. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Smash your face into it. Are you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Oh, about to come in and do his worst. Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Wait, what? Marie purchased the rose water. Jeff gave Marie the necklace he purchased from the jewelry counter. Okay. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Mm, that's a camera. A camera in 1893? It's a, a peephole. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's something to watch them. That's what that is. <laughs> well, man, got the... The 4K GoPro from the future, bro. Listen, I forgot. Goodness, she don't have no other kind of sound effect. It's turned shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it. <sighs> Open sesame. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that He's word. Not gonna get it's in the bath. French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think uh. I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Thanks for the dono, JC. Don't you sir. worry.
Yep. There you go. Oh. Oh, freedom. Wow, they gave, immediately gave you the 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 chick and me the guy. That sucks. There you go. You don't find it suspicious that nobody else is in this hotel? Right? Uh, that would have been my immediate concern. What if I don't want to open it? Better not. This was the way we came up. We got sent into some random corridor. No, he's like an architect. He probably he changed it somehow. He probably like slid a wall over. What? X. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. For the Dono Momo. His teeth are scary. <laughs> Wait. Nigga, what? Nigga, what the fuck? Is he in there? Wait, what? That's so, so. Did you see the hat? I'm so confused. <laughs> that was so weird. Was I tripping? Or was that just like a hat on a. Is that you, darling? Jeff? Those are not my Jeff's moccasins, Jeff. man. Oh, are we playing another game? Bitch, I'm not my shoes. <laughs> Why did you investigate? Okay, I would have literally just stayed in a freaking tub. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <laughs> Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> oh, wow. He bodied me already. Stop! Get away from me! But I'm not finished yet. I said get... So, you're not even going to try to fight back? Don't fight it. It will only hurt more if you do. <laughs> yeah. We're only prolonging the inevitable. The fuck was that? What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife has uh, had an accident. Oh, man. That sucks. Is there a problem, sir? Run! Yep. Like I said, that's why he said it. That's why he couldn't get out. Well, I'm dead. I might as well give the control back to Shira. Not 
the scarecrow talks in. You're wasting your last chance. Oh, oh, she can still see him. <laughs> Marie chose to investigate the noise. Marie hit Holmes with the with the rose water vial. I don't think any of this matters. No, right now. it doesn't. I don't think it does either. <coughs> Thanks for the dunno momo. Put a band-aid on, yeah. Most of the time, the first two people yeah, they always die. die. It was only that werewolf one where they didn't. They just got locked up. A place for everything. Everything. Oh, that's why he has all oh, the rings. He's okay. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, victims only number the two. Best for you, my dear. And or three and four. Simply die. It's so I say, opulent. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh, oh God, here we go with this fucking most likely copyright ass intro. This song is not oh. safe to stream, is it? Yup. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. <laughs> yeah, this is the same intro that we've seen a thousand times. Yeah. I'm not even finna chance it with this copyright ass shit. Oh. Okay. I need to know what is up with the weird ass edits. I don't know. There was a part where the killer, when he was in the bathroom, they did a random edit and cut to his face for no reason. He's like, <laughs> and I'm like, what? and then, and then the husband, what? What did he say? He says something, and then his eyes was like this. He had, you know who, <laughs> you know whose face expressions he had, Shane. <laughs> Oh, Shane from Love they is gave, Blind? They gave him the Shane face expressions. <laughs> he did look like Shane. Uh, hilarious. I feel like they put like, they put the A squad on like Until Dawn and then the quarry. Mm -hmm. And then they put the C squad on the Man of Medan games. Because... There's no way that these games are from like the same company and then like the the quality is the so quality different. is dramatically different on these games. Does anybody know how many people like this particular killer killed in real life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the B squad is also working on the quarry <laughs> and until dawn. <laughs> Oh, what's up, dog? It's the end of season one. Oh, they said at least 27 plus. Jeez. So quite a, quite a bit. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? It's always good when a familiar face returns. Obviously, you're in the mood for a new tale. There are several of you, quite a party. Niggas Safety in numbers. Us. That's what they say, anyway. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire. Yes, 
but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, would affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. Mm. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. I have seen those. Before. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly oh. make it worth your while. Because there was a, um, a killer that, used, that was doing that. Well, doing shall that. we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching. I think there was a movie on that, too. Well, no, I was just saying what, because you can actually... Oh, what the My hell? name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on the good accounts of the uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Mm -hmm. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Thank you for what Mark did uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. He's some chapstick. I've been a key group in lighting tech for years. So they're making Your a movie. Problem, light it. Like a documentary. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? Because he was a cameraman, she's a lighting technician. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't read the other girls. Sound engineer, yeah, they're doing a movie. Qualifications or, um, like, personal info. Because I don't, I mean... Will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. It's like interview uh, for yeah, Charlie Lonnie, director. Okay, yeah. originally, I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. Is the hotel owner watching these? I don't know it's how. That was in 1893. Yeah. And now we're in modern times. Yeah, I think true. we've heard quite enough. Sure, we're struggling with the time period I stuff am. today. I am. <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Oh, there goes the... On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. Mm. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, mm. but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. Oh, wow. America's the first fuck? serial killer and possibly the worst. Wow. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? This is the movie, that's an actor. Yeah. At first I was thinking it was like a dope transition, Sorry. but. What do you think? <laughs> 
<laughs> they're literally thinking. To be honest, it. Charlie, <laughs> this is a pile of. Hold that thought. <laughs> this is a pile of shit. <laughs> Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. Of course. Pick up the sticks, son. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. So you're get I told my team first. they're free this weekend, and frankly, yeah, because they're black. <laughs> they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is us. dead in the water. We, uh. I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet, send you. We. Right. Let's load up, guys. You All right, need... got it. Sir, I'm I need sorry. to see who's driving this vehicle. Sorry. Are you? That ring light that makes you all glowing. We leave it behind. Right, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. So do we know where we're going this is exactly? Just... You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Oh, Dumet wow. has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. Yeah, but that does that sounds and creepy he substantiated as hell. all of this. Yeah. Just trust. Me. No, he did not substantiate all of this. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. All right, you could drop me off, bro. Well, this may yeah. sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home. I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can know affect my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy nah. and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Bro, bro. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Man, if you don't turn this fucking car around, bro. Making his pay, but that wasn't even him talking. He played the. This is all he asks. He played the tape with the dude's voice I'm... on it. Yeah, he did. For bro. the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. You better get us a uh, fucking kill, bro. Did, I don't like that guy. He got to go first. We need to intentionally get him killed with the glasses <laughs> to teach him a lesson. <laughs> you have this stranger pick us up. You didn't even check who was driving the car. Now I got to throw my phone in this mysterious, high, highly advanced technological box that came out of the armrest of the car. Did How do you even build that? Didn't he have service or something? This guy going to help? <clears throat> <clears throat> I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. This is a mis misrepresentation of black people. Facts, because I would be like, if you don't roll down okay. this glass so I can see who you are. Literally. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly 
um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Why she got on the sunglasses? Careful, the sun's not even out. Nice it's you. overcast. Come on. Let's not ask no questions. Okay, I'm him. <laughs> no, you're her. No, I mean, I'm this guy that you want to oh. kill. But I'm, I'm kidding. Don't intentionally get him killed. No, I know oh. that. I'm just saying I'm the annoying one. <clears throat> hang on, 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 hang on. Hang on, hang on. <clears throat> what? He dropped us off and there's no way for us to get up there normally? Like, there's no functional staircase, no ramp. Just... Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. Hold L1 to jog. It's, the, it's on the left. L for left. Not L for bad decision, but L can also be used for a bad decision. But in this case, it's L for left left trigger one in the front. Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so much for plan A. It's a rocky shot. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for a shot, right? Doesn't look too serious. The Cliff erosion. May collapse into deep water I'm gonna say without we trust warning. Not die. No. All right, how about it's we not do that? The lawyers made them put up. I'm sure. Oh, we just fine. not. Yo, Hard yo, this guy trying to get them killed. Oh, it doesn't look too serious, sir. It literally just said this piece of cliff might fall off into the water with you on it. Okay, I think that's right. Yeah, go this way. Can you jump down? Oh, okay, yeah. there you go. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? Is that the way but, I'm supposed to go? Yeah, just go, go up to it. I didn't no, know if I should trip. go over, oh, yeah, just go over here, yeah. Just you know some of the crew can be there. challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would no, never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. This way. I figured that... Yeah, no, go. Climb up. Yeah, but mess. there was a whole path over there. Yeah, it's the same thing. It takes takes you on the other way. But I didn't know if there was any, like, little nuggets or whatever I'm supposed to find over here. Well, you can jump down if you want to find it. Yeah, there's nothing. Just making sure. And remember, you can hold L1 to jog. You don't have to walk. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to torture you. Because you know you hate when characters walk. Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that... Maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Oh, wow. In memory of, of the victims of the you know, lives were lost, you know, passengers of the little accident. Has, has, I've yeah. never seen the attraction. Which yeah. crashed into the rocks at the base of these Must cliffs. Must be quite L Captain. Go check? Yeah, just go down. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was over there. To your left. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Why all these extra areas if there's really nothing there? To make you look dumb. <laughs> this way? Bro, why, why is this, this is so extra. Why did he not have a way up there for us? Or are they just sneaking up there to get the footage? I think they're just going up there to get the footage. Okay. <laughs> Press up on the D-pad to turn your light on. There you go.
Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple of weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my own. You're going the right way. Go up to the wall. Take some time out. What? Go all the way up to the wall. Oh, okay. well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. They threw Shira into the thick of it. Shira, Shira panicking. Shira panicking over the over these panicking. basic controls. I'm not panicking. If he would have fell, he would have fell. That would have been his business. Let's see if there's anything up here first. Mm, I no, think I there's can go over there. No, you can't. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of Why was that necessary, bro? Right. That's probably. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, why'd you turn around? Oh, I no. Didn't. You did. Oh, okay. I didn't see what happened because I, I jumped back. <laughs> bro. Looking at the light on the mess. How is that gonna fit into the show? Just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial yeah, stuff. Mm. You sure about that? But you trying to open the stage with Kate here? hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Locked tight. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. I'm on too much. It's literally that that crack in the fence right over there. You'll see it once you turn around. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Where are you going? I was just trying to see if there was anything over here. Is this the way from which I came? No, but I mean, you can look. We didn't go over here either. L1. I am. gonna get me killed this stupid effing camera i was literally gonna say i don't know why you keep looking at the ground because i have to freaking what's that left left oh wait no, what, is what is that on the ground that's what i was said Eight fish factory to close exciting times That newspaper just out here surviving and shit. Right. All this work, man. Like, how are you even gonna get back down? The same way you got there. What you mean? You're doing all this work. Oh my gosh, I'm ready for these rocks to fall. My son gotta climb underneath, crawl underneath this all his camera equipment. Somebody said it don't rain here. 
right? That newspaper just surviving forever. We're going to take the stairs back down that y'all ignored. Thank you for the dono, J Trigger Happy. Recovering from the flu, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Thank God y'all alive to save Thank my brain from this torment. We love you too. Hope you feel better. Not gonna catch me. This looks pretty old. Press down on the D-pad. Right. Yeah. What's that? Oh wow. Just some old coin. And we have to take that back to the dude at the desk. Yeah. That's cool. Find a penny. Pick it up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Oh, there's another way around. Oh, right there. Right, yeah, yeah, there you go. Don't climb on it yet. There you go. I was going to tell you, you have to climb on it. Jump down. Use square to move it around. I'm trying. Okay. But why right there? You pressed X again. Okay, go around this side. It's probably you. What the fuck? Oh, right here. Now, there you go. And then move it in front of the window. Now you gotta fix that. There you go. You could have made that jump. Yeah. <laughs> they should have let you make the jump if you didn't put it there. And then he slips and busts his face on the ceiling. Still breaking dies. an entry? How are you not in jail? <laughs> <laughs> See, they're losing their faith. I try to tell them. <laughs> I try sure, to tell them die already. Christ, what the hell is that? Approach hiding place and hold L2. Left. L left or right. Hold it! I am holding it. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so I said they did. <laughs> uh, press up on the D-pad. Tilt the camera up so you can see. I am. What the fuck, bro? Up, oh, somebody's gonna crash a boat. That's cool. Like you're not even like just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, Sorry. and six gallons of sanitizer. God, it's mad dark in here. I wonder if the person that offered seven hundred dollars oh whoa. Thank, Thank you for, you for the, the dono, dono prime, prime time. time. 
I wonder if the person that offered the seven hundred dollar donor for you to fight the berserker is still willing to to do so. I wonder if they're in here watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wouldn't succeed. I just said I would do it. <laughs> Nigga. Okay. He's getting a shot. He did too. I'm like, what are you doing? Somebody has a taxi dummy, Hobie. Relax. Look at the wall. <laughs> Go, go, go. Turn hobby. around, turn around. Bro, the squirrel. Yeah, he said somebody has a taxidermy. Yeah, I know, but just back up. Look at it. Yeah. He's stuck. I'm trying to move. <laughs> God. <laughs> Lord. See? That's crazy. The squirrel one is wild, though. You're going the right way. Don't go that way. You're going to go down the stairs. We just came up the stairs? Yes, we did. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Why don't you look at it? Walks past the bird. What in God's name is this? Taxidermy. Ah! Can they stop? What? The thing. <laughs> it moved. God damn it. Move, Ooh, bro! Man. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. They said, dude is breathing in all caps. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake. Until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. All this for this trash shot. Look, there's all right. Come on, we better get back. Yeah, all, this, all that for this trash shot. I'm so mad. Yo, do you think it's gonna bring a drone? Bro. Him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. It's Mark. It's Mark. Mark. Aaron. Jamie. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly you know, appreciate this. No, this is like this. Braxton from the Lovely Jamie Foxx show. Meet you all. I can see him too. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your Thanks great the uncle you said? Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Look at all these beautiful faces that are about to get murdered. Yes. Yeah, I'm God, your turn. <sighs> Good Lord. See how it feels when there's pressure on you? Let that be a lesson when you're selling out on me. I don't be selling out okay. on you. But who claims to be the gamer? You or me? Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Well, Looks you... like things are buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I'm 
not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two you hours. Watch enough Just horror movies. go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, OK? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnie Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go. Aaron? It sounds clear. OK, let's go for a take, then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop <laughs> trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' Reign of Terror. H. H. I'm heading to the house right now. H. 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 Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We Nigga. really do need to get going. Why did you bring me Anything here? You we told you, you was making much. a movie, bitch. This way. Bro, take me back home, bro. Obviously. H A Y C H H H. This dude is so annoying. You brought us here. We told you he was making a movie. You was like, yo, I can make this movie lit, bro. And you brought us out here. You being annoying. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. Nah. Matt is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Uh, what are we talking about here? That sounds very racy. Oh, oh, oh my God. Damn it. What oh, wow, there okay. it is, the play. Oh. Did you trip over your ego again? Did you trip over we your ego? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, my God. I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. Wow. OK. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. <laughs> Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. See, look at them already, like, doing crap they should be doing. This is why people get fucked up all the time. <clears throat> really quickly. Does it show whose characters belong to who? I don't think so. Maybe. No, it doesn't. Okay. Hey, can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, without you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? She no. literally says keep out. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not going to save our asses. Oh. oh, 
No. And that is locked. He could have told us to dress for a trek. But then that just takes the fun out of it, you know? The mystery. Where's the, the intrigue? <laughs> Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. This goes it's straight up and down the hill. Yeah, but what's on the other end? Random tram. That is random. here on this island Shh. get down with your family my wife is she died oh shit sorry i didn't mean to be rude come on <sighs> mr dumet is this an actual palm tree was this shipped into the island i i don't think so They say you let go. They saw you. When you're supposed to be hiding, you let go. I did let go. Because I thought they were gone. Because the, the, there's like a white bar at the bottom of the screen. I thought that once I was gone, I was done. What do you mean they saw me? They can't see my hands. But the guy saw you. Oh, the guy saw me. I thought you meant they said they saw me on stream let go of the L2 button. I was like, no, what? No, no. For all, know, I have, for, for all I know, I have two biscuits for hands. Y'all yeah, don't know what my hands look like. Can I climb under there? No. They said the white bar is just the time limit to get to the hiding place. Oh, okay. What about over there? Oh, cool. Lunch. Uh, Jesus. Ah. So sure, like if we were stranded on an island, right? And you literally had no other options for food. Like none. There was no vegetation. It was just sand and squirrels. Like, would you eat a squirrel? I heard you were looking for a new place. I'll cook a squirrel. I'm not sure I can afford the rent on this one. Wonderful natural light, though. Not eating it raw. <laughs> I would cook it. But we don't have. Listen, we don't have nothing to cook to up. Vision. That's her. Who's with you? Yeah. But we don't have nothing to cook the squirrel with. It's literally just sand out there. Well, I'm not eating a raw squirrel, so I guess I'm just gonna starve to death then. Bro, pick the shit up. What is it saying? Bro, the message is disappearing on me. Oh, it's just... Okay, I thought I could like actually pick that shit up though. That's weird. It's not as easy to eat a raw squirrel as you think it is. Why, have you tried? No. All right, so you don't know how easy or difficult it is. Maybe this is the way. So you could just bite into a squirrel. Just if bite. I'm hungry, yeah. So you eat the bugs? You just pick up a roach and eat it like nothing? <laughs> like, you gotta do what you gotta do, sure, to survive. I said raw squirrel is stringy. 
I'm surprised somebody knows what raw school tastes like. If I wanted to like. go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. <laughs> so then you shouldn't be out here. It seems. Somebody said you'll die eating raw meat anyway. <laughs> it's a better way to go. No, it's not. Not with a stomach ache. Okay, see, that's weird. The game let me pick this one up, but I couldn't pick up that book about the birds. I think that was a bug. <laughs> and listen, I won't die eating raw meat. Me I'm built different. My body is made to withstand, like, even the harshest <laughs> so conditions. Roshi died with bubble guts and nasty farts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Thanks for the sub, eggshells. I said Roshi built to take raw meat all day. <laughs> you see the wow, panel? I actually set myself up Crash. for that. I, I don't even think there's power. I actually set myself up for that one. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's a wild statement, though. <laughs> the Roshi Yams got some resilience. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, why did I do that? I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> Free said, Roshi got that sturdy, <laughs> sturdy, sturdy digestion, digestion. Bro eats Taco Bell frequently. <laughs> I eat Taco Yo. Bell frequently. <laughs> and yes, you do build up an immunity to But listen, it. but listen, After listen, hang on. Actually, but it's not what y'all think. Because I don't eat the beef from Taco Bell. That's like dog yeah, food. No, I, I only either. eat the chicken. I I, I can say with beans. confidence I've had Taco Bell beef like once in my life. And I was like, you know what? Maybe no. Yeah, I don't eat I eat their beans. Sturdy digestion. Yeah, y'all have a way with words Somebody in the Somebody said that's still Taco Bell. <laughs> Because if you don't eat Taco Bell for a long time, regardless of whether it's chicken, beans, whatever, you go back to it, yes, it will. Is this going to kill me? Up. Hang on. <laughs> I had Taco Bell beef once and I got sick for three days. Never again. I just want to make sure I'm not about to fry myself with this. Maybe we can get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this? Okay, make a decision. Do you want to control the characters or do you want me to control them and you just make the decisions? And then can you change the difficulty? I can change the difficulty on the characters, I'm pretty sure. That's fine. I'm fine with that. All right. I was gonna actually suggest it. <laughs> For you to just control them and me to just there, see. I'll I'll just control the decisions of my character. Yes. You just had that in your pocket. They want me to play. So what what if I just play like the exploring parts and then just give it to you when it's like the um You're not finna give me no quick time shit. You, yes, if you I control am. it, you're gonna do everything. Oh wait, no, 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 no. The last time Roshi was controlling Shira's character, he folded it off their character. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, they already made a bet with us playing. Oh, what the fuck? All right, th I'll give it to you after this puzzle's done. This is so weird. So you start from the top left. You you hit that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. But then like, mm -hmm. is that it? Oh, you went that. Yeah, I started from the top. Way. It says follow the arrows. Then down. So I guess you don't left. hit that one. Down, no, you don't hit that one. Then you go right, and then you go down. That's what I did. All right, um, I think I have to hit it. Okay. The writing here is ancient. Follow the arrows and don't go out of sequence unless you want to triple the, trip the whole system. So let me try that. And there you have it, Spider-Man. God damn, I'm brilliant. Oh, well okay. done. Sorry. That was like Didn't change the difficulty yet. I did change the difficulty on your character. Oh, you did. I did. <sighs> the only thing I really don't like is controlling the stupid camera with with the walking. Is is hard. Damn, you can't just matrix down there or some shit, bro. For the camera, I know, I know since you're new, you're used to you usually have it like this, but it's just tilted up. All you gotta do is move it left and right. You hear me? Mm hmm I'm listening to you. Oh, okay. My head's like poking out from the side of the rock. <laughs> hey! Take the sunglasses off. It's overcast out. You're, you're actually making it harder for yourself to see. Yeah, I wait for the other character to get up before I get up. Oh, well, I had no clue. Once I hit hide, it went into a cutscene. Tom had said a message to us about the poll. He said, if you don't want to do the QTs, I can refund and change predictions of which character is going to die next rather than who's going to kill the next character. So you make that decision. Whatever you feel more comfortable doing. Because if he said he can refund the points, then I mean, that's that's cool too, I guess. What do you think? That is, that is completely up to you. Well, I would like your opinion. Wonder what these are. Whatever you, whatever you want to do. I would like your opinion. You can, if you want to play, Do then you think play. this, this game is going to be too challenging for me? No, no, this is a very basic bare bones game. 
then why are you why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just laughing because you have to get the camera control down. And we found a stiletto heel, so somebody was running out here and tripped and cracked their whole shit open. They put I a band-aid on it? To rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. They found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. We didn't find anything. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Sure, are you walking across that? Coming or what? Uh-huh. I wouldn't be here. You afraid of heights? No, Maybe. I'm afraid of old bridges that are yes. made out of wood from like 200 years ago. Bit! Oh shit! We're all gonna die! It just made just it super unsturdy go. for him. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Why do people always mess with other people's fears? Oh, that's I hate people wrong. like that. You good? Oh, man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it, though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Ma'am. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. <laughs> and <I'll> lightheaded. <laughs> he's like, what? That's it. Oh, yeah, he's like, that's fine. Of heights. Okay. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> Love and trust. <laughs> See? Not so bad. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Or were they a thing? Where Probably is everyone? In the past. Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. Bro, this is a lot of extra work to get to the house. I want to make sure you can't get out once you get up there. This place is magnificent. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. This is perfect. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You're such <laughs> a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. This this nigga's so jumpy, bro. Yeah, he is. Why are you zooming out? Uh, like, brilliant. Whoa. It's a literal recreation. Look at this. It's amazing this is intense would you all mind signing in at the desk please mm. uh this isn't everything 
I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Bro, the vibes is just... <laughs> Very low vibrations coming from this place. Remember that number. Silas? Oh, God. Silas? Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a bottle all day. And I have to sit here worrying. Yeah. Gone all day and not a word from you. Shut up, Mom. Are you going to um, change the switch difficulty? The back? Yeah, please. <laughs> Sorry. You play too much. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um... It's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? Was? On the wall? This is me. 0178. Okay. okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. That was one level below the, the actually hey peanut butter buttercup yeah. song. From the Why don't you hang a second while I unpack? Then I can help you find your room. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost probably. It's just, it's just a haul, dude. No, but she's and right. She went in the blocks because they they move well, it around. Move the walls, it's yeah. um cozy. Yeah. Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Yeah, so they were a thing. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I going to walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? The Guess fuck is that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Show us what you know. What is that? Is that the same Fine. bottle of genius? No, 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 no. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Doesn't throw a rig into shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. 
I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? She's not gonna oh. fuck you, sis. Oh, well, I guess that's staying there. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh, yeah, bend over. Let me see them yams. It's uh, yeah, all the way deeper, against the it. wall. See it? Oh, yeah. What is wrong with you? Oh, the way that's the eye she was giving her. <laughs> you okay? Fuck. Shit. You trying to scare me now? <laughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. Yeah, ma'am, are you good? It's like poison under there. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because, <laughs> yeah. What is that other maybe option? Maybe scaring you didn't help. Since when do you have asthma? What? No. <laughs> is that Seriously, what you really want to say in any case? It's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? I, like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. It's I try to mind over matter it. But dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> yeah, he was looking at them through the mirror. Mm-hmm. You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat. Now. Yeah, so you withhold oh that. And cut her up. I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh huh. Sorry. Why what I said you, why earlier. Why do you continue to drink that? I didn't mean to make you feel weird. Why Why are y'all making these choices? Yeah, that's gross. Why are you guys making such strange choices? I, for young folk. Yeah, what? it's just... We work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and... I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Uh, or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just... um. Come on, go for it. What are you doing? Uh, oh my God, I, uh, I... That's why I was gonna back <laughs> off, you know, cause the vice was so awkward. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I oh. just was oh, scared to make a real move. <laughs> she plays so much. <sighs> oh God, <sighs> Give me a trophy. Oh, oh. sorry. Sorry. Hot mess. Who is that? The dude behind the window beating off. Watch, watching y'all. <laughs> Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something? Sir? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Bro. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my <laughs> room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. 
Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Yeah, bro. Okay. Yeah, he's really we'll he's be down extra. in a few then. You don't want to drag this out here, you bum. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Fuck you. <clears throat> to be continued, then? Yes. Definitely. Put that on pause. Good luck finding your rooms. Why is he an asshole now? He seems like he could have been an asshole the entire time, but we, we just yeah. didn't have like enough context. Enough context. But, but they said that he d he's not leaning with them in yeah. the earlier in the game. And based on him dragging them out there, what is going on? on Yo, let's go. Let's go. they are out. They are out, bro. Oh, is this when the boat crashes? No, Everybody that was a different. That's not even a. Him. That's not the kind of boat that crashed. But he was like, "Yo, let's get them." <laughs> Yo, my man was out. He's like, "Yeah, we got him up. We got him up to the hotel. Why let's are you go." Still drinking that up? I would immediately leave and go. I would immediately right. leave and go tell everybody like, yo, I saw Mr. Demet and some little girl booking it. <clears throat> Maybe that was the deal. They had to like That's exchange think, someone yeah. for their freedom or he had to go bring some other people for the little girl's freedom. Is that a puppet? It is. It's a mannequin. It's rigged like how that crow was in that room. Charlie? Charlie? Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking oh, stressed? Sir. Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. She is so scared of him. Mm -hmm. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> I took them. Jesus. Um... Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. What the fuck Blue is this? Bag, well, Friday, you chose that. Like I that. But I didn't know he was going to say it like that. <laughs> I just They're thought gone, he was going to say. Gone? Just, just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... My Come on, guy. we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. This is an L character, bro. I literally do not like yeah, this guy at is. all. Remember with the camera, don't tip it down. Just move the right stick left and right. Yeah. That way you can see everything. The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. You think we'll get another season? 
Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly, oh, nice. and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. Yeah, going down. Go, you know, go back. Go back. You're going the right way. You have to go downstairs to the uh, bar. Okay. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. Wait. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. <clears throat> Show you're ready to muck in. Brad Fisher, I Rachel Davis. I think you should get an assistant. Jackie Phil, Scott Thorne. Oh, and it was Grace just a Fletcher. stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just. Assistant. A and personal then, assistant. Sort of. And he, then I could help out with the editing. The check in and check out dates are weird. The editing. But he kills the in groups of five. Yeah, Look, I just think five. you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. And it's always like so, about do a you week still want to direct movies, Charlie? That he takes. I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. Go back to With a door. big budget and big stars. Yeah, I knew. I saw the glimmer. Erin, there's something important sure you have to understand. Else. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Go back out to the lobby. Okay. That's a closed wall. I was just making sure there was nothing I could pick up over here. Yeah. Go back to the desk. Turn around. Go back to the desk where you where read the book. The desk where I read the book. Behind you, where you read the book with the names. Oh. Behind you, that way to the left. Right there. There you go. There's the keys. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. And then I go back into that hallway where you were just now. That's the key to that door over there. Press right on the D-pad. Why don't I go dark. check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello? What the fuck? That's a robot. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What would it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. What's... Figured it was too good to be true. Who is that Never movement? mind. What is that movement in the Thank window? Thank you, back? Robo Bomber. I see it. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Whatever it was, it's 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <sighs> that sucks for Damn you. It. Must it be his cigarettes? Like the one that he can't find? I thought I thought that's what it was, but I mean he would have noticed. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Yes, I do. Thought not. Press up on the D-pad, because it's dark as hell in here. Up. Press up. And now look at the bar. It's not really doing anything. There you go. morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Oh, the beast of Arkansas. They caught him outside Birmingham, Alabama. I've been to Birmingham. What was his name? Manny Fresh? I'm not sure. Go, go to the back area that way. There. It looks like there's something right here. Or go around. I think you can hop over the bar. Right there. Turn around. Oh, there we go. And check the register. To your right. Turn around. Right there to your left. Oh. Obviously, it's locked. Use the yeah. Go back and then press left on the D-pad. He can use his business card to open drawers. And now pull it. There you go. God damn. Yeah. Next round's on me. Promise. Yes. Come to daddy. Oi. Wait, it's open. Oi. Wait. Move it. Move over. And then okay. what I hit. Oh, I don't know what I'm pushing on that. Would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. I think you're right. They're open. So what am I supposed to push from the target? It's I'm supposed to be R two. R two. Yeah, but it didn't turn red. It didn't. It. it I don't. That was weird. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mm. About to get him killed. Bar zero zero twenty. What the fuck? You, br sir? What? No, come on, you piece of shit! Don't do this at? to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes! I think it's because I messed up that 
event. Right. So that's why this is happening. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Nope. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's what? dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? He was about to get blammed. Yo, you're Ed. my man's sense of my man's sense of awareness is on zero, bruh. Oh yeah, see, Puppins just said it. What? Zero environmental awareness. Oh yeah. Hey, had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and then I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. Listen. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Yeah. Is it working? Marginally. Ooh. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all Is think that a butter I broke joke? up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the they truth, they could do like a butter off. pun there, like margarine. I mean, marginally. They all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. I can't. This is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to. And I quote, to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because so I he said broke it up with her, but doesn't yeah. mean I want them to think that it. she broke up with him. So try harder. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Bro, I thought the, Let's the, find a way up there. I thought the room disappeared for a second. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Oh, wow. You're like to take a photo? Oh, it's this? just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. From the good times, Chicago 19. Mm. Smart plan. Aww. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. Roll back. So, so he picks up the photo. And I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch <laughs> in the at least studio while you this. obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop. Or maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Oh, all locked. Oh, wait, can we go up? Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. The breathing, bro. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. 
even during the cutscene, this nigga. <sighs> What the fuck happened up here? This kind of looks chaotic. There's something back here. I'm taking a picture of all this shit, bro. Y'all all going to jail. Probably lure him here, lure them here, different reasons. Saw something light up down there too. I guess not. Bro. Turn around. Sir. Yeah, this whole shit is out of focus. This is not 4K. Fix the F stop. So if to make yeah. shit, <laughs> let's That's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Yeah. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> Was He the Devil by Joseph Morello? The truth behind America's first serial killer. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? A must for Morello fans. Real Killers Magazine. It's like an analysis of your worst nightmares. Review Monthly. That book probably trash. It's probably inaccurate. Probably. Full of lies. Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Sir? And they just out in the open, too. They don't even care. Yeah, whoever that is, he don't give a shit. This is what I was looking for. Police, Police dog? Is that what I just is that what that says? Something riot. Urban. Urban riot. Look at this wallpaper. It's trash, I know. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. I can go up there, but let's just 
Rod is gonna set in. Right. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? The hair. You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself H. a little fascinated Holmes. by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Mm -hmm. Damn, you're just not going to say nothing about what she there. just heard? See that key? She just need to find a way through. Old house, island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood, could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. It's a puzzle. Okay. What the fuck? Keep your head down. So now my question is, is this actually the real legit building? Is this not? I was starting to think that it was, but I guess I, I would assume they would know it's real location. Bro, what is this? You're being watched. You just watch me and get away with it. my brain confused on if I should go this way okay <laughs> I said the stream cured my insomnia <laughs> some people thought the first half of this game is slow <laughs> so <laughs> they said they're going to bed <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh my nigga his name is Cap a lot. Because <laughs> he caps a lot.
He said, bro, need to stop and take a few, a few breaths. Oh, the heavy ass breathing? Yeah. Bro. Oh my God, thank you, bro. On my side, I can't see nothing. Wow, that makes so, that ma wow, it's locked. Oh, well, good thing I came back down here anyway. Cause I missed that. Score. Yeah, I know for y'all it wasn't that bad over there, but on my display that I'm playing on, it was like, bro, straining my eyes to see anything in this dark ass house. <laughs> what for you for this? Yeah, like it's really difficult to see. This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. It's a house of dragon lighting. It's fear of heights. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that might get him clapped later. Balcony. I remember that in that other room. Got it. Where we first started in, mm. there was a, a door to the balcony. Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Yeah? I need, I need some shots, dude. What are you worried about, miss? Always be <laughs> camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Putting the moves on her. Whoa, the frame Isn't that rate. What you said earlier? What's up with the frames, bro? Give him my frames, bro. I said I want to see Roshi quaking in his yams with fear. <laughs> yeah, they stealing frames from me. Okay, check this out. Go. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. It's Campbell's hat. Please don't touch my hat, Mr. Sheriff. Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. 
Is that real blood? Hey, I Charlie, so. it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Somebody dropping eaves. Yeah. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? Whoa! He told her that learning from him was his wow. own reward. He's, He's terrible. Shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lawn at Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. Wow, I, was I knew you were dropping to be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are <laughs> professionals. It was a yes? prank. So start Bro. acting like it. Well, um, they was talking out in the open. Yeah. I mean, like... Abby. You have a future, and now I don't. Yeah, you can't How be- How is that hurtful? man is yeah, a goddamn child. Pussy. And somehow we all sink to his level. Yeah, you said that. Stand on it, bro. You, like, he's acting like she forced him to say that. All she said was, I'm moving on. And he was like, oh, good for you. Yeah, you good be for an you. Yeah, yeah, good for you. Look what you just did. Like, I sir, didn't even mean it. Have some accountability. They call him Big Sean. Or Millie's calling him Big Sean. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. Oh, it's old not girl. Just... Old girl's not at dinner yet. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. That's He's probably saying. cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Okay, Wait. there we go. Thank why, you. Why? Let's be realistic he here. He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. Why did you say he anything? Left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? 
Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Round of applause. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. He was oh, running like well, that to go get think pizza? Think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. Exactly. You have to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. I guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. <laughs> so what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lana Entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a David. voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Now, I would like to toast. Sure, I'm trying not to, try not to be an asshole. Because I already did I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, and to our nearest recruit, Erin, we would be lost <laughs> without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? That was smart, because even though he's a jerk and they were talking shit, his, the way you responded with him Thank increased you all his relationship with them. Mm. For your hard work. Cheers. I was just mad that Cheers. the, the remarkable invisible cigarettes Mazel had a time. down arrow on Mark. Because Mark responded to him like, oh, no wonder why you're so, in such a good mood. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> He's right there at what the table. That, what the Nothing hell? Nothing important, the... just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. That was so weird. Shouldn't be hard. It's yeah, quiet. It he, of course you can um, hear what y'all saying. Does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. He left. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? <sighs> yeah. Good point. He's not making this easy. I don't want to pitch him off. Still think this was worth it? Yeah. Yes. It's just hard to say what the smart thing to do is. I don't want to piss Dumet off, but we need to work before we run out of time. Something tells me we have plenty of time. What do you mean? Look, just go and set up now. <laughs> Even when you're confused, you can make a call. I don't know if that's ego or stupidity, but it works for us. 
We may as well get to work. At the very least, we can set up. Yeah, we have to do something. Let's set up in the lobby. If he shows and wants us to stop, fine. If he doesn't, at least we'll have something in the can. Hang on. We... All right, fine. Fuck it. Let's do it. Thanks for the dono, David. He left me with his visible cigarettes still Won't falling in mid air. Got... Oh, wow. Uh, I suppose not. I'll be along in a minute. This guy's gonna go back to that freaking box oh, of cigarettes. Oh, shit! So, is there like no dinner? No. Is there no food? No. That I would have been. That's what I really would have been upset about. There's no food, nigga. So we dying and we get ain't getting no food. Wow. That's how I feel, man. Where's the food at? Where's the grub, son? Hello? Guys? Is that you? Why'd they even split up at this point? She got the blicky. <laughs> That's a directional microphone. I know it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds of the clapping. Thanks for the dono. OMG, it's Sep. Silas. Oh, that's just that old lady. I think this Mom. is the premonition we had like when we turned. No, that was the, the other chick that turned the chair around. My pine box with cement put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again Weird Yes, yeah, so the pain. What the fuck? Oh, Shira. The wall moved. Oh, Shira. Oh, we got set up. Possible future right now. Well, then, this is not very exciting. This is crazy. Sure. 
the wall moved. This is actually really cool. E Y Oh, it changed. My don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Did you leave out the door? Oh, it changed again before it is there. Don't, don't, no, 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 it's a trap, it's a trap. Is there any other way I can go? No, I don't think so. Nope, it's finished, that's it. Bro, there ain't no way this guy's doing this by himself, bro. He has to have a whole crew of people moving the walls around, bro. It was a recording. Choked on my chicken nugget. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Well, then. Oh, damn it. I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could do this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my stomach Break hurts. <laughs> Mr. Demet? Ma'am, you saw he left already. This is good. Sure. Actually, the lady looks 10 years younger. But how? The Columbus Spa. Oh, my eyes have changed. Mm. 0451. Wait, go back over here. What are these numbers important? Let me start writing them down. Hang on. Let me get out the notes file, fam. The first one we saw was 0178, and then this one is 0451. Oh, the zero, five four, ranks five, one. in the digital lock installation. That's the code to the digital lock. A blueprint? Oh no. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East Third Lighthouse, eligible, eligible. 
Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A quote of so has been added, which states that in the event of both your death, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. Richard Belknap. So I think that's who's running around in the quote. And he probably forced her to make that change to the will. So that's the old lady. Oh, what's this? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Did you hear another voice? That was weird. Grand opening November 17th, 2017. Go to the other door. Is it locked? Oh, this one? Yep. No. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's locked. Outside and to the left. Time to face your fears. Is this your first time, like, playing, like, a horror game? Other than these other ones I played with you. N like, actually on the sticks? No, we did one on stream together. I controlled some of the characters and some of the oh, other, okay. the, these other versions. Great. Into the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Choices, Jamie. Ben at Killer Make for Neil. Better choices. This is your own damn know. fault. Dan, they paid twenty-four thousand dollars for the hat. Yeah, the hat. That's crazy. Right before the grand opening, too. Right down there. Yeah, I see it. I was trying to move to. Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the. Oh, sorry. I didn't know I had to hold it. I thought I could let it go. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agre agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Now flip it over. Cost assessment. Jesse, plans and specifications. Electricity five. It's five of them. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the dono, David. <laughs> Survive the whole game and you yeah, without that's dying. Not that's with that's probably sticks. not gonna happen with sure on the sticks, yeah. Just being honest. Go to the safe. We have the code. Um, should I go here first in the store? Uh, sure. We're just trying to. Oh, open it. Yeah, open it. It's a shortcut to the other side. That's the door that was locked. There. All right, I'll turn back around. Go back here first. You already picked that one up. What's back here? And in that locker. What's up with the scattered documents everywhere? Dear Mr. Belknap, following our discussions regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find overleaf a breakdown of the work as well as an estimate for the total cost. The work can commence Tuesday, 13th of January. It will take approximately 10 weeks with an estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Kelly Schroeder's handwritten signature. Sheesh. God damn. 
Extension, strengthening of rooms to accommodate machinery for moving parts for the moving walls. Yeah, various remote receivers installed across the hotel. Overhaul of hotel pipe work, particularly in the basement. Deal of various construction materials. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, go to that door real quick. What door? The door with the go to the keypad. Zero four five one. From this century okay let's look at this first before we do it so you start on the second Ooh. left wait hang on wait because remember nothing wait never mind okay okay one two so top one and then the bottom one um, press the left on the d-pad first oh. so you're gonna do the top one and then this one This one? Yep. The one below it too. And then come all the way down to the bottom right. Yep. And then now left. Up. Up. Right. Right. And then up. And then up on both, right? Yep. Oh, nope, oh what? Nope, 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 nope. That's not it. Huh? Or do we start here? No. Okay. That one doesn't. Okay, so that one's. I think that one's first. Okay. No. Okay. One, two, two. and then that one. Yeah. Wait. Because it fried when you hit this one. So do one, two, and then do the top right, and then. Or is it one, two? And then no, down, because and it then goes over. down. Oh, okay. So meaning you start from here, and then you do that one, and then you do that one. Try it. Let's see. They so said here. Yep. And then down one. And then top right. That's going up. Do it. Just do it. And then now start from the bottom. Here. Yep. And now and do that there. one. Yep. And then up. Yep. And then right. Yep. And then up. Yep. Nope. What? <laughs> is it the only is other it option? Right? Is it right, left, up, right, up, and then no, the up? No, nah. the only the only other option is to do the top two first. That's what we just did. No, we did one, two, and three. Try to try the top two first, and then snake your way around. So yeah, just try the top. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. So this one, and yep. then the and, and then, then the immediately one, over. Yeah. And then if that don't work, I'm I'm I tap out. Yep. And then go all the way down. And then all the way down and then snake. Nope. Nigga, what? Okay. You could you can try that one. I'm um, Somebody said these puzzles had me heated and somebody said this is so confusing. Up, up, down, down, left, right, A, B, start. Yes, yeah, sir, Rex. 
A contra code? I'm thinking. Mm hmm. I, th I would think the first way we did it, but that didn't work. So it's like, is it, the only other thing I could think of is, is it? Just try, I mean, just try to snake from the bottom, go over here and then. But that wouldn't make sense. I think it's the, the first one down to the second. And then, or it could just be the first one and then um so do the first one first and then just snake yeah just try it try it but then what about that last one up there is the one i'm, I'm let me see hang on I... let me see let's try first That doesn't make any sense the way they did I, the two pointed I, arrows. I, I, whatever. Oh, look at her belt. Her belt's actually kind of dope. She got the, um, the Caesar belt. Jesus! I guess I don't need my flashlight anymore. And then that was the door to the left we didn't go through. No, no, not that one. Not that one. Go back. Oh, you go back. Yeah, over there. Attention. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lake area. Oh. I was like, oh, oh. Did R2? Did R2? I did. No, you didn't. No did. square. R2, I did. I, it just didn't. Oh, you know what? Because I, I double tapped it. That's why. Yeah, just hold it down. No, it just. She's... It just don't work? The fuck. Oh, I have to hold it. That's why. <laughs> I figured it out. No. It, oh, okay, it, it, it doesn't just doesn't work. work. Just go. Where are you going? Go back. You know what time it is, Shira? Go back where? Here. You were trying to run away. That sounds like Chris Brown. button sure. mm, do I have to yes oh shit it's boys to men thanks for the Donald David back streets back sure Go up to them. Go up to them. Where are you going? You might be able to interact. And then there's a door over there. Yeah, there's something glowing. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Stop <laughs> running away. Listen. Look down. Look down. Where? It doesn't let me look down. Oh, okay. All right, just go back. And then go all the way to the right. One of them, something fell yeah, off one, one of them. one is looking at me. Yeah, something fell off it. 
Yeah, okay. it goes on the floor. And now you can go put that in the tape recorder. That's on the desk. Damn it. Damn it, bro. I knew it was coming, man. <laughs> oh, nice. She just automatically does it. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rooms from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Oh, wow. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops, what do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window wow he slits the other there throat. were different options mm -hmm. that could have happened that's the advantage of a honeypot no shortage of targets <laughs> that's why i picked all those houses north of the airport the whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo call up as a contractor Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream That's as loud terrible, as they bro. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want, but you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. I would not be listening to that in the dark. Go, 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 there's another door in there. I thought that was you breathing. I forgot these fucking characters breathe all heavy. I was about to be like, you good? Mm -hmm. Over there, there's a door. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. <coughs> what the hell? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, God, your turn. Yep. And you have three up too. You were wondering whose characters are who. Those two that were just together were mine yeah. too. The other three are yours. Oh. Uh, hey, hey, help! Well, somebody help me! I can't see a thing. I, uh, guys. Yeah, your dumbass got please. caught. Please. Aaron. I, I, I can't. 
can get the door open. Get me out. Okay, we're right here. Calm down, Erin. You're right. Oh, what the hell, bro? Is that an yeah. animatronic? Yeah, he was in there when he closed the door. You don't, you didn't see him in there with you. Erin, it's okay. We're right here. But that's not. That's an animatronic, is what I'm saying. Yes. That's not real. Yes, I know. I, I need my inhaler. I'm gonna ask my tag. What's your room number? I. Hurry! Hurry. Where's the room? Next to mine, down the long hallway for you. Aaron, I'm going. I'm trying to breathe slow and easy. <laughs> We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I. I can't. Go and look for something to knock the door down. Me and Mark are trying to Oh, down. God. Oh, God. Oh, what the? And that's the one with the knife. Who's there? The one with the hat. And that's why you got stabbed. <gasps> yeah. Oh. The premonition. Whoop. What is going on? Um. I, I, guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh God. What do I, uh, that's your character. I don't know. I think if you attacked, he would have stabbed you. Oh, wow. I did the right thing. Oh, my God, bro. Just breathe. Fuck? Just breathe. Hey. That was wild. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. He he was somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron. It's just a dummy. Oh, no, it God. was not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show. Oh, I did not. Something bad happened. Why Aaron. would you're they okay. think no that? Why are they so Let's all just dumb? calm down. Get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking I tired. Hate characters Let's like go. That, man. Come on, Karen. Yeah. You can't t tell them that he cut something off you, you stupid bitch. Ah, there you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. We haven't seen him in a while. Mm, and this nigga's literally the chat. Damn. He'd be frustrating to watch. Wish I was the one making decisions. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. 
This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Sir? Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie getting bodied down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Charlie is thinking. She looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry. Maybe I'm crazy. But if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. Thank we're not you. safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. Okay, bro. I know what I saw. Okay, bro. Right. Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? Is this a positive I guess as far situation? As Charlie ideas he's go, a fucking it's not idiot. the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had to see. Don't go patting yourself too. on the back. Yes. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. <laughs> that outweighs having a damn job. This nigga right. a fucking GTA character go, animation. Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Man, I quick. just got attacked. We'll be right back. These are the, this is the worst group of human beings ever. Yeah. No, don't. Sorry, just still freaked out. Yeah, I can't wait for him to slide. Can you leave the it open wall. so you guys can hear me? Of course. Why would you leave her by herself after she literally? Oh Yo, my God! What an L group of friends. Why? <laughs> God, <laughs> I just finished. <laughs> look okay, at the sticks, genius. Son. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Demet. I'm scouting for shots. If he yeah, pops up along the way, great. Jesus, you really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do. If we're Thanks set up and the camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. You good? No. <laughs> you good? What are you doing? No, it's not going. Okay, now it is. It was legit stuck for a second. We looked at that? No. Mr. Morello, good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems you have a mutual interest. I have spent several years constructing the ultimate Holmes tourist experience by faithfully recreating the World's Fair Hotel. We have not yet opened to the public as there are finishing touches to complete, and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. 
I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced. So please only invite guests that you can trust to die. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick yourself up and your guests at 7 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway bridge at the corner of South Wallace Avenue and West 63rd Street, Inglewood, Chicago. I'm sure you'll find this experience very interesting indeed. Okay, hang on. That's from Mr. Dumet. And that was on the 14th of October of this year to Joseph Morello. Um, let me just hang up. Hi, Grantham. Thanks, I'd be delighted to come along. I'm sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My mm. brother Francis is in town at the minute, so that'll make up the five. I trust them with all my life, so no sweat over confidentiality. That's so sad. See you Friday, Joe. I think he was in the log sheet. Yes. Yes, yes, he was. That's sad. Go back over? Okay. His whole family. Yep, him, it's always wife, groups of five. And his, and his brother. Uh, so what is it? What are they just paying Dumet to lure people here? Because they have money. I think you're going the right way. Go down. Yeah, he turned around on his own. I didn't do that. Sure, capping on the, the the characters. What happened here? I no idea. That looks like blood splatter. Is this the main lobby? That is blood. What is it with the po the the documents, bro? I know. Good lord. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the met went. In the past one day, slow pan through lobby, drinking in the atmosphere. Go for a 360 instead. Series of dissolves between key exhibits, details ending on front desk. Hand reaches into frame and rings the desk bell. Oh, this is their this, this is their footage. script. Yeah, I see criticism. I don't see anybody saying it's too much. To reveal Kate. Yeah, we don't have to read this. No, we just I'm need not. to know that it's their it's their stuff. Because they said that all their stuff didn't, um, okay. Their stuff didn't make it all the way, all, all the way up to the, Wait, the house. What? And he was like, yeah, see? What the hell? Can you examine the blood? Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. It goes to that door. Wait, right over there. Right over there. There's a card. Yeah. Hey, I found Dumet's business card. Yeah, that's your business card. That's it, <laughs> sir. <Designer. laughs> no contact information whatsoever. Yeah, he don't want to be found. And go, go over by yes, the desk. I am. I, sir, I did not tell you to go down. I did not tell you to do that. You did. No, I did not. So the game is lying? Is. Oh, so no, Joe isn't on there. No, he didn't come. He was he was like October sixteenth or something like that. Unless he's still here. Interesting. Cause what day was he supposed to go? It was like October sixteenth. Hmm. I know it was definitely a double digit October date. Yeah, that's it. You can go to the door now and go get killed. <sighs> awesome. Awesome sauce. Jamie, over here. Don't go home, girl. You go. Okay. Yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood. Sir, it's Are just blood, nigga. We're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. That's probably the other odd. people that are here. What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead no, animal No, I outside. think they went and caught Dumet Maybe it's and killed him. 
Yeah, look for oh, Dumet. Yeah, because that was his them. business card. Look at that whole camera up there. Look up. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's no, turn around, turn around. Oh, what turn the around. fuck? Presented by it's back Grantham there. Oh, Dumet. Yeah, Dumet? Well, so he hasn't left. Nah, we about to watch him get murked. Oh, we're about to find him dead. This is a bop though. I like this track. Would you be here? Would I be here? Ask yourself that question again. Well, you're free to go. I mean, the music is behind you, but you're free to explore. There's probably something back here. Go up to it. I'm trying. It's not, um, it's oh, not okay. doing anything. Oh, that could be why. No, that's not why. Oh. It's probably just not interact. Like, you can't interact with it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you yeah. just can't interact with it. Yep, there it goes. Something's on the floor. Down. FBI, open up! I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I don't remember me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. That's it? Wow. We got cut off. We just have to find more documents. All right, now turn around and go all the way down the hallway. Enjoy. You can run because. Yeah. Oh, what was that? What was what? Did we see that already? Oh, no. Good eye. Sweet. It's one of those coins. Do you hear that? Yes, I do. Oh, he's in there getting fucked up, bro. Oof. Lovely. Okay, turn around, dog. This is so weird. Y'all are weird, man. Yep, that way. Go, look over to the left, see if there's anything over there. Look down. No. Bro. Yeah, you tried to leave us and you got bodied. You hear that? Please. Help. The fuck? Oh, we're gonna watch him from the other side. Yeah. I mean, there's a hole right there. Please. Please. Are you? Do no? What happened? Are you okay? Charlie, do you see a key? He's... Oh the no! Fuck? Fuck? Why'd you step oh, on no. that? Oh, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. But they shouldn't have gotten. They shouldn't have gotten there in the first place. It's a fucking booby trap. Yep. If he moves, it's Shift over. Shift your weight off that plate. And this guy is getting run through by that thing. What in the saw? See, now they'll believe her about the guy in the top hat. Help! Please! Help! Help me! Oh! If you don't step off it, he's gonna get cut! Oh. He's, he's... Oh, that's you. Oh my gosh.
So he steps off of it anyway? Body gone. I do. We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. <laughs> I'm Where's the cut? Is his face just good? <laughs> did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're going to jail now? We're Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. The nigga said we gotta flex and bust out of here. Yes. What is happening? The room is gonna start shrinking. Remember the one we saw the blueprints and it said the capacity to change like the size of rooms and things like that? No, the walls just move. It okay. was just talking about that the hotel has moving parts. Okay. So they're shifting it around. Bro, Lean and Cuisine literally just made a skit about when the game makes you think you have a choice and you really don't. That's literally what just happened. It was like yeah. step off or stay on it. Yes, he got forced off of it, but it's like... Buddy dies either way. You either way you slice it. It's a beautiful bitch ass dude. He hits you anyway. <laughs> Is that a crystal? Any spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. I'm gonna want you to cut yourself. That's Rock literally a crystal. And yeah, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. <laughs> it makes me feel better. Yeah, it was my choice. Something you never seem to be able to do. Ooh. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to- I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. I don't know what you. That what job? DP. Bro, that what job, bro? That DP job, you weren't- Bro, you know what? For those of you that get it, just you get it. For those of you that don't, you don't. You know what I'm saying? You're childish. You know, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I wasn't honest with you about the GP job. <laughs> sir. He's a director of photography, sir. <laughs> oh, about man. What? Bro. It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? <laughs> Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn. With Murray, his friend Murray, they set up the studio in Brooklyn. Where is this story going right now, bro? This is dark. This is a dark, his dark past. Fine arts. Fine you arts. Yeah, you're a major. That's your dream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Yo, out of context, this is wild. I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first and making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here, aren't I? Things are already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down <sighs> because it would have taken me away from you. I guess I didn't even think of that. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> man's getting double I just, <laughs> <sighs> What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. The fuck? That kiss was so awkwardly placed. I can just see the, the flakes falling just... off of his lips onto her lips. <laughs> Help they things. said, "Bro, trying to clap right now at this at this time <laughs> when you're in the murder she, house." At least she gave him some some moisture. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> His lips look that dry to you? Yes, they did. <laughs> she said, "At least he gave him some moisture." Charles seems hell bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Can you, bro? Mark is the is the most L fucking character. He always gets in your way he when you're walking. going around locking these doors. Two men. It's a uh, little helper in the yellow coat. Wait. Campus Strangler. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? It's her no. friend. Is that her? Yeah. Because that looks like her on the left. Shelby. Mm -hmm. Matching nails? Shelby. God, don't. We always got them done the same. It's just because that I knew that was her on the left with longer that's hair. That's him. Yeah. What? So. That's him. Oh, that's the guy that. The guy in the back. You know. Mm -hmm. Kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and... That's when, they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. Well, then. what the hell is that? I have no idea. Another freaking. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Oh, they're seeing it happen. Get over here now. Charlie. <laughs> no. My guy, bro. My guy, bro. You're not that strong, bro. You're not that guy, buddy. You are not that guy, buddy. I can't hold this. We know. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now. Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. Trying to clap right now. Wow, of I didn't even get to is. do nothing. I yeah. know they tripping. Hey, you're in control. You're in control. Ah, it's okay. ah, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be a way, right? Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space has to be. Please throw on the flashlight. Why did this bitch fix the power if it's just not on? They turned it back off. I know. Uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it yeah, up to him just being eccentric. Uh, There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. <laughs> Let's think about this. 
You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Right. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set I up. Didn't want to miss that was planned out, before. every bit of it. Right. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Dumet. Oh. Oh, wow. So that guy's not actually Demet. I see. So. so it's just somebody who set them up. Yeah. He worked with whoever was to set them up. Oh, right there. No. Is it? Yeah, there's nothing back here. Okay. Or just go, just go look, because I feel like you're gonna, we're gonna miss something. And then look to your right. Yep. Oh. Trying to map this in my head, but I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened, the most mm, vulnerable. Because of the choices we picked. Don't you watch our show? Go to the left. Go That's to the left. Go to the left. Go to the left. There's a whole open door, right there. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh. Okay, good. go back up. You're a kid whole voice other too. Section of I was worried I, I was finally yeah. snapping. Where's it coming from? Turned into a different. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm supposed to go. And there was. One so straight there. back behind you. Oh, what the fuck? No, it's closed. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. When the objective popped up, I think they changed the. Um, yeah. No. I okay. Go, go back. back. Go back. Make a right. Make the left. Bro, go left, go left, go left. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, nope. We probably missed a coin or something. Bro, that's trash, dog. Because you don't know exactly which yeah, way. Yeah, you don't know which way you're supposed to go, so you can literally like miss out on stuff. That's why I didn't <laughs> I was trying to do the hallway part first. But no, but you already left that section, so it closed the door behind you. I don't think you. it would have closed it until I initiating initiated this objective by going through the staircase staircase opening. Right there on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. What did they say? No, I'm saying there's a coin, so there probably wasn't one upstairs. Yeah. We probably just missed a document or something, most likely. The coin's right there. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. <clears throat> Let's. Oh, God, the hell lighting. Yep. It's a recording. It's a trap. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Is that an animal? Yes. It's a pig. I would just peek in the door. Right? I'd be like, oh, okay. I guess. Y'all didn't learn the last time from walking in rooms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this freaking idiot, man. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll, you know, a, a doll, doll in a doll, doll in, in a doll. doll. Are you losing your shit? Cause I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room, how do we get out of the hotel? Exactly, or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right, of course. 
So should I go through this door now? Uh, if you didn't see anything. I didn't. Charlie, I found a way out maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, it's gonna be ah, an ice what just? No, because I don't want her to be the one in the effing trap. I don't know if she's in the trap or if he's in the trap. I'm giving over to the am god. Can't. Can't deal. I know somebody within there. This bitch has no idea what's happening right now. She's look listening back to her I, recording. I can't. I can't breathe. Try to relax. Slow, deep breath. In and out. Ah, come on. But they would have believed her at this point now anyway. If they had a thing split up. Her face. They yeah. gotta hear this. Yeah, you just got locked in your Wait. room. Where is everybody? Why is it so quiet? He left the door open. Yes, she remembered that he cracked the door because she told him not to close it. And now she's locked in. Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? Mark? Jamie? Oh, the gas. the gas. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Can somebody please find Ja Rule? Oh, come on, uh, come those, on. Like, poisonous Stop spores in the air. Damn wimp. I don't think so. I think they just keep sending her into dustier places because of her asthma. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I get three puffs. Oh my god, this is gonna be wait, where'd the asthma pump go? I think you lost your opportunity to use it and that yet. Wait, flashlight. Seriously? Like did she like leave it on her bed or Bro? Yeah, I literally lost my opportunity to use it. That. Oh, there's something on the wall. Treatment for what? Snake oil ointment. Sometimes can kill the breath. Okay, yeah, the door lights up. So yeah. Silver Ash Institute. Oh, sweet. Go back. Go back. This is perfect. Those are real people. It's like he takes their skin and puts it over like mannequins. Like freaking uh, skeleton key or whatever where they're making taxidermy people. This is exactly what we need. We need to go in here and investigate these very sketchy looking. I swear. First aid. I'm oh, not. They're glimmering. Yeah, I'm not touching that though. Yeah, mortuary assistant. Yeah. Oh, there's a phone. 
probably gonna need something to. Well, Laurel. Fuck you, Jamie. Who's the cutie in that pic you posted? Totally your type. He is so predictable. Who, Aaron? Please. My type is badass bitch, not timid woodland creature. Wow, that's foul. You were just kissing her. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. Exposed. Wow. So she just... Oh, what the hell? She probably realized they're real people. Mm hmm Up, oh, jump scare incoming. Whoa, what is this crap? Yeah, you're not Jesus. gonna give me that time, bro. What the hell? That's disgusting. Yes, we are a big husky. Dear Mr. Thompson, why don't you leave me the hell alone? White Oak Elementary School. Dear Miss Monday, I have tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's recent behavior in school. Hector has been lashing out frequently at other children in an aggressive and threatening manner during gym class this week. The teacher noticed that he had come to school with severe bruising on his legs. We are very concerned about his welfare. Please contact me at your earliest convenience to discuss. Hmm. Because Monday was... That's the agent. Yeah. That was the, um... Uh... Interviewing the killer. Triple H. Yep. Time to play the game. For too long, a predilection for alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness for character and absence of moral fiber. It's startling, break it's startling breakthroughs by renowned physicians have demonstrated that alcoholism is an ailment, same as syphilis and cholera, and can only be successfully treated as such. But although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greed of their manufacturers has put the majority beyond the purse of the common man, particularly when the common man has already been driven to the brink of ruin by his unfortunate affliction. Such dire public need has now been answered by the esteemed Chicago practitioner, Dr. Henry Holmes, who at his personal expense had established the Silver Ash Institute, bringing affordable therapies to the drunken masses. Mm, he was using that as a way to kill people. Mm -hmm. Already the good doctor was achieving remarkable results with those who passed through the doors of his clinic. At the Silver Ash Institute, there is no recourse to prayer. Oh, that's illegible. Plea with the Almighty. The only law is submission to Dr. Holmes and his miracle cure, a patented yet highly affordable compound of secret ingredients, including purest silver drawn from the mines of North Dakota. When ingested thrice daily for a program of four weeks, this cure is illegible to exercise the patient of his prior in, iniqu iniquitous appetites. Indeed, following one month's treatment at the Silver Ash Institute under the strict instructions of Dr. Holmes, there will be little of your bad old self remaining by the time you depart. Yeah, because you'll just be a freaking dead. corpse. So I guess that's the significance. Aaron, hello? Jamie. Jamie? Aaron? You there? Uh, hello? Bitch. Can you hear me? What is oh, happening? What? Not safe, Aaron. How oh, she's are high. To me. Do exactly as I say. Oh, there's a microphone in the mouth. Yes. Oh, okay. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't... Just listen. 
Listen, there's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? What? Hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now, just trust me, okay? What the fuck? That's so weird. That's not suspicious to you? Hide. You wanna look? We have to trust her. She said get in the cupboard and hide. I think that was a setup. I don't think that was her. So you wanted to run? Oh yeah, we would have ran right into him. Or he can just yeet us right out this cupboard right now. Up oh, here comes a heartbeat part. That's so weird. What did they find? Did they find his camera room? They had to if they knew where Aaron was and they could see her and they knew where to tell her to go because they so. could see him. But when we left off with them, that's why I was so confused. That's why I was like, is that a setup? Like what's going on? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe wondering where the hell we are. Check this out. What is going on? Are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. Yeah, that's you hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. I'd like to toast all of you. Oh. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, wow. and that's just my cross to bear. <laughs> Mannequins of all of them. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. What the fuck is this? So he got a mannequin with red hair, but he don't got one with. I was just gonna say, so, fro, the, so gotta be he, bald. He, he can't have no hair. Everybody's mannequin look. Mark, the the two doing? black people gotta be just bald headed. Stay back from it. <laughs> Relax. So it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird, yes. Cause to lose your shit, no. Okay, this is fucked up. Yeah, where's my hair? What the hell is going on? <laughs> the zoom in. <laughs> she has a necklace on. Like a diamond necklace, too. You bald headed demon. Yeah, it has Aaron's necklace on too. What the fuck? Yeah. How would it get that? Oh, From their belongings. is that what she? Is that what it cut off of her? Is that what he cut off her? It could have been, yeah. She scared the shit out of me. Why are you walking around during my, ma'am? If you don't get, ma'am, move. Jesus, it looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. Yeah. You knew y'all was coming. And all of their stuff, remember, it, they probably had extra clothes in their suitcases that they took out. So y'all just have multiple of the same you outfit. Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Thanks for the donut, Ann. Watch out. 
from the movie house of wax vibes. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Careful. <clears throat> yep. <sighs> Jamie! Thank God! I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. Nah, really? What happened when the wall closed? The Met killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. The Met? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. What? What Maybe happened? This is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies it up! Bodies dead. Dead. Why are you making so much noise? Dead. What was that? I thought those eyes looked real. This... It's fake. Sir? A prop or from an animal or something. Because I'm like, it has why do the, the mannequin's eyes look no, so real? No, no, no. That's what I was saying. It was real. Like, he put real stuff on them. Well, don't touch that. Those are nerves. Oh! Oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you. This was all too much. Let's get out of here. Okay, are they finna show us what happened in between? Oh, like... it's locked! What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Do <coughs> man! You wanna play around? Yeah, you gonna be big man? Right now. Let's fucking play! Yeah? You Let's go! You, you gonna put you somewhere high. <laughs> Let's fucking go! You gonna put him on a bridge. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, 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 oh, here goes Charlie. They need to show us what the hell Jamie was doing. Because he fell. Like, and then there's just like a whole bunch of stuff that just went down. So I wonder if they're going to like flip flop back to that. Oh, damn. Escape room. Hey, um, do you see a key? Is there a key outside my door? No, no, I don't. Oh my gosh. I don't see a key. It looks like a hair tie. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Well, oddity, I know he fell on the trap, but I'm saying like, I'm very curious as to what Can't happened see. since then, because it seems like they skipped the whole segment with Jamie. Like, what, what occurred there? Jamie! Hello! Jamie! I'm okay! Go ahead, just use it on the cage. It's a cage key.
Most of the crew have arrived at the island, moved all the equipment up to the hotel, met with hotel proprietor, Mr. Belknap. This is the construction. Belknap. Yeah, uh, on-site assessment has become, excavation has become in the hotel basement. Work on the first and second floors going as expected. Some equipment has gone missing. Filed a report and requested replacements via Mr. Belknap per our contract. James Kelly has left the project, left a note citing an emergency, didn't contact me directly, written report to follow. Must have been implemented according mm. to my improvements from Mr. Belknap. Started working on basement ceilings reports. Bobby has left me high and dry here. Second little guy to leave me this project. Bar renovation began. They're killing them. Yeah, they're killing them. Plumbing has been completed. Second floor renovations to be completed next week. Bar renovation is done. Project efficiency is good. If this continues, we'll meet the agreed date. Uh, something reconstructed. All moving walls completed. Next page. Signal receivers installed. Small reports and missing equipment. Third replacement request filed this month. Roughly as agreed date, prepared is requesting additional work on this spot area beneath the hotel. Only small cell still on the island, so we will conduct initial cost assessments while waiting to hear back from Kelly. Receive reports from Kelly Sales and crew remaining Laura, Monica, Ryan, Frank. Move forward with work on this spot until the crew returns. Ryan has left me a note saying his mom is Bruh. ill. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belknap will allow me to. <laughs> I'm sure she died years ago. Laura finished installing the tannoy system with Mr. Belknap. He said she wasn't feeling well afterwards, so he offered her, offered her one of the rooms to sleep it off. Haven't received any correspondence from Kelly about where the rest of the crew are. What is going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room and Monica has just left. I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I will return to the mainland with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. They don't want any, um, Loose any, ends. any yeah. trace yeah, of the work. What? Bro, what? It won't let you pick it up. Press R2. No, it's just saying R. Br have you tried pressing R2? Yes, it's not doing anything. Oh, there it goes. Chicago killer, victim two, cause of death, abdominal injuries. Victim teeth have all been removed. John Doe number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 wow. minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. Jeez. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. Rip all his teeth out while he's alive? He has some nice fingernails. That's pretty more. Oh, Alright. Can you go hit play on the gramophone so we can hear the Blue Knees track? Where? Oh, yeah. I'm kidding.
<laughs> it's actually close. What the? Before you pull that, don't pull that. Don't not, pull it. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, go up to the gate. There's something on it. You can you can hit open. You don't. Tonight. Well, if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. Sir, you're losing it. All right, I guess you do have to pull the switch. This is going to be a fun puzzle. This is the room I just left, right? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. Weird. Okay. okay. There's a switch to your left. Yes, I see it. Okay, turn around. Turn around, see if anything else is opening. Nope, that's closed. Okay. Now look through the peephole again. Okay, that's where you okay. All right, they're just funneling you. There's yeah. literally nothing you can do. Is that where I started? No, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> to the right, there's a gap right there. And then this is where the puzzle fun begins. Wait, why is there three flaming? I don't know. I don't know if that's a bad idea. You got to do it. It phoned <laughs> you back here. This is literally the only thing you can do. <laughs> well, somebody's on fire. What is that? Oh, happen. there is something on the desk. Use a card left on the D pad. Right there. Go all the way to the right. Now press R2. Right there. Alright. 
gotta hop over. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then go to the crack. And then when you get over there, look through that peephole thing again. Because I'm pretty. You're gonna see something. They wouldn't just put that there for no reason. Peephole's next room, right? Yep, this one to the left. Oh, all the doors are open. It's not even letting me. Oh, wow. Interact with it this time. Oh, nah, they said fuck you. Alright, just go straight. You got funneled again. Oh, wait, what's that on the floor? That was the doll. Yeah, it lit on fire. Hmm. Can that door even open? Nope. Oh my nigga, this is a gas chamber. It's an incinerator. Oh, just go pick up what you gotta pick up. The cigarettes, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh wow, that's petty. Well, hello, gorgeous. Sir! Yeah! Praise the Lord. It's real. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. Yep, he's done. I think he just Bro. He's done. Bro! The door! The door! Go to the door! I'm I'm very aggravated right now. So we're gonna see him, I think, die in the gas chamber, like how she saw him, her husband, when her girl got cut. What's he doing? Yeah. All right, sure, you gotta be ready for something. Shira's first clutch moment. Hey! Hey, hello! I'm here! Hello. Yeah, with the mask on, bro. Oh, no! It's gonna light it! It's gonna light it! Are they serious? Yeah. Stop! Please! Stop! Please! I didn't have a choice in the matter. Unless I have a choice now. <laughs> okay, you can save him. I don't think I can. Pick, lift the grate or force the door. Sure. Okay. I forgot it was right stick for this. Oh, I was about to say, bro. What is he doing? Shura, do it again. Yeah. Oh, 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 o
To make you, to make you think that that wasn't a good choice. They didn't show him dead, so I don't, I'm not Things buying it. Things are starting to heat up for our friends. Charlie's goose may be cooked. Yeah, may be cooked. He's not dead. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. But I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. What do you think? Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. Try it. The hell does that even mean? And that he just knows all of his puzzles, I guess. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. Okay. Wow. Okay, just... Th How much longer do we have left? Are we close to the end? Because I read that this is like eight hours. Oh, this chapter. Well, that chapter just ended. Oh, okay. Oh, they said no, we're halfway. So that's a perfect stopping point for tonight. That's what I was hoping for. That's dope. Right at the four hour mark, we were able to um, make it to the halfway point. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. They usually, when they die, though, it's never like questionable. Like they usually always show. Yeah, they, they usually show that they're dead. That's what I'm saying. We made the right choice. I like how they did it. So it's like, I just don't see how you would force the door open. I don't see how wouldn't. that would logically happen. There's two things. Not only could he not force the door open, even if he did, Buddy was literally standing outside the door. He, he literally walked by the door and closed it. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we definitely made the right choice there by opening the gate. Good Lord. I'm enjoying it so far. It started, I'm not going to lie. It started out rough. It took a little while to pick up, but I think, I think it was once good. Once it got started, it got started. Yeah, the dialogue was a little cringe in the beginning. I was like, okay, this is weird. The facial animations were weird. Like, it was just very odd. And then once the story kind of got, like, in motion, I felt like, a few of those problems have been corrected. So maybe they just didn't put a lot of time and care into the opening. They're like, oh, whatever, this is boring anyway. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far and I'm loving the jump scares. It's a lot of fun. So hopefully we get, we did, we went four hours and nobody died. So hopefully we can continue and finish out the game and everybody will make it out alive. I doubt it. I highly doubt it, but we're going to do our very best. Yes. But yo, Thank you to everybody who came through and hung out. We're going to finish it tomorrow night. So make sure you're here for that stream. Uh, probably start up around the same time. Go to the same time. Finish it out. So we're yeah, looking so forward far to seeing we have you here. All of our characters. Yes, everybody's alive. So the poll was null and void either way. Because <laughs> neither one of us haven't killed a character first. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess you get your points refunded for tonight. But only for tonight. And then you come back and you bet them again. 
So, okay, yo, thank you to everybody for coming through. We had a great time. Hope you have a great night and a great start to your weekend. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow night. Peace out. Peace.